healthy relationships versus unhealthy relationships. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel I teach people just like you to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Today we're gonna talk about healthy relationships and I would like to start by sharing my personal story so you know why I consider myself as well versed in this topic. Let's start. Healthy versus unhealthy relationships, my experience. I'm a psychologist. I've been learning about relationships since September 2001 when I started my degree in psychology back in Russia. Receiving an official degree did not stop me from learning. I was expanding my knowledge every day. Every psychological method and approach that I've learned was about relationships. The relationship with yourself, romantic relationships, generational conflicts, toxic relationships, you name it. Relationships is one of the most complicated topics in psychology. This is something that can harm us and cause irreversible trauma and yet relationships are something that can heal us, fulfill us and make us kind and the most compassionate human being. Personally, I was raised in a broken family where my parents were constantly fighting since I was three years old. My father cheated on my mom and he had a drinking problem. I remember running after him on multiple occasions where I was chasing my mom and my dad, asking my dad not to kill her. My mom was too emotionally involved with my dad's behavior and she was very young when they got married. So my mom did not reflect on my emotions at all. My mom did not help me to process my fears and to process my feelings. I was on my own. I was a neglected child who was terrified every night lying in bed and hoping that my dad would come home sober. My parents divorced when I was 11. My mom actually blamed me for not getting the divorce earlier because uh, I asked her not to when I was three years old. Of course, as an adult, I ended up in a toxic relationship myself. My first toxic relationship started in high school, then another one in college, another one in the university, then I married a toxic person. Once I told my ex-husband that I wanted to be a motivational speaker and he laughed at me. I buried my dream somewhere deep inside for 10 years and became a web designer instead. Because of my ex-husband, I'm living in America. Uh, please don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for that. And all toxic relationships has their good parts and happy moments. This is one of the reasons why people don't leave their abusers. After the divorce, I've met an incredible person who turned out to be a narcissist. So it was another toxic relationship. To be honest with you, I spent years in personal therapy trying different approaches, personally experiencing the theory that I've learned during my psychology degree. And I was a member of various healing groups as well. This year, in January 2022, I celebrated five years of togetherness with my husband. I can proudly call myself as one of the happiest women in the world who was able to end a toxic cycle of getting into her own relationship and to find her Mr. Right. I am sincerely happy in my marriage. I have a beautiful one-year-old daughter and two stepdaughters. And I am back to my dream and I am living it right now. I am sharing my knowledge with you. I am sharing my dream with you of being a motivational speaker. So every relationship is unique. And today we are going to talk about the difference between healthy and unhealthy relationships. I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch and I can share more with you in my future video. 
So please do it right now, subscribe and let's start talking about healthy relationships. What is a healthy relationship? Number one, a healthy relationship is a relationship where both people feel loved, cared for, appreciated, respected and valued. If we are talking about romantic relationships, friendships or families, uh, there is always a balance between giving and receiving. Giving and receiving is the key to any non-work related relationships. It is a little bit different when it comes to work or business relationships, but even at work, you can you have some type of service, you can some type of, ex, uh, of exchange because you're providing services and you're getting paid. So it's giving and receiving. It might be not 50-50, but there is still some type of exchange. So the balance between giving and receiving is a foundation of healthy relationships. Number two, a healthy relationship has healthy boundaries. When a person constantly chooses their friends, their kids, parents, or work over you, and you feel alone, then it means that boundaries are being crossed and you are getting hurt. Number three, emotional maturity. A healthy relationship is an emotionally mature relationship. When one person demands constant help, attention, this is a parent-child relationship. This is not an emotionally mature adult relationship. Number four, a healthy relationship is a relationship where both people are equal. It does not mean that they have to make the same amount of money or that they have to divide their home chores equally as many people think, no. An equal relationship means that both people are just as important. You and your partner, you and your sister, you and your boyfriend, you and your friend, both people are equal, equally important. Both people have equal rights to express their opinion, to have their own interests and to have their own needs. Equal relationship means that your needs, your feelings and your emotions are as important as the needs, feelings and emotions of the other person. And number five, let's talk about healthy relationship versus unconditional love. If you truly love someone, then you would do anything for that person. This is a model of a toxic relationship. This idea is often used in movies, and movies usually have happy endings, right? But a movie is a fairy tale. A movie is an imagination of a writer. Unfortunately, in real life, people often confuse an unconditional love for a toxic relationship. You can truly love the other person only if you love yourself first. If you allow another person to disrespect your opinion, to cheat on you, lie to you, force you to do things that you don't like, then you don't love yourself. Then you don't love yourself enough. If you don't respect yourself, then you can't expect it from the other person. Being in love and letting the other person abuse your feelings is a toxic, detrimental path to self-destruction. Staying in a relationship in fear that no one else would love you means that you don't love yourself. You can ask me, what if this abusive person is your mom, your dad or another relative? I would reply, even if this is the only relative it does not mean that you should lose your self-worthiness. It does not mean that you should betray yourself because of this person. I truly admire your desire to save your relationship. And I will be the first to guide you through this process, to help you to heal. But the main person doing the work is you. When you are thinking about unconditional love, think about yourself. Do you treat yourself as you, as you treat the other person? Do you truly respect, protect and taking care of your inner child? Are you following your own interests and true desires? Do you hear a supportive, loving voice inside or do you criticize yourself and not allowing yourself to make mistakes? Do you take care of your own body? 
Give yourself the permission to truly love yourself. Allow yourself to see yourself as a beautiful human being. Not perfect, but nonetheless beautiful. Let's do an exercise right now. Pause the video, take a deep breath, and write in the comments three words. I love myself. And then notice how you feel. Do it right now. Did you do it? If not, ask yourself, why not? Why could not you write that you love yourself? Is there something wrong with this phrase? If you did the exercise, congratulations! Continue telling yourself that you love yourself every day. Do it before falling asleep. Do it for the next seven days and then come back to this video and share your amazing transformation with me. On this note, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. If you need my help, I will be happy to see you on my private and group sessions. Before finishing up this video, I would like to offer you seven free self-development webinars that will help you to understand yourself better. Seven free guided meditations to lower your anxiety and boost your self-esteem. And seven free healing exercises to overcome your fear let go of your limiting beliefs and manifest your dreams. So click the link below the video or just go to my website elenasemenek.com slash free. Thank you very much for watching this video. If it was helpful, please click like and share it with your social media or share it with your friends and family. Every time when I see your comments, when I see your likes, when I see that you're sharing my video, it really means a lot to me. So please help me to help to create more videos like this by sharing, subscribing and commenting on my videos. I will see you next time. Bye.